All right, so this is the HHO generator we're building. Um, here, Basics. Are, here are our electrodes, and uh, these are very close together, about 0.065 inches apart. It's all glued in. We've got two electrodes coming out the bottom. As well as a cork. As well as a cork. We're going to fill it with water and turn it on here pretty soon. Those are electrodes, or the terminals for the, like, these are the electrodes. And then we also have the toroid coil, which will go, it's not done yet, but it will go inside of here as soon as this is. So basically it'll live exactly right above, about a quarter inch above these guys. And it will also be producing hydrogen. Two different forms of hydrogen being produced. This tube is what holds the water around the electrodes. Actually, it'll go threads down. And it threads into this cap, which is also threaded. And see, we have a little bit of space. After it's threaded, these actually stick out a little bit. And then we put our uh, spacer there, because we're going to need to put a, another cap on top of it eventually. But we don't have the... Actually, we have the, We have the cap, but we need to put another... We're going to need to make another this, piece for this guy. This cap guy. will contain... A emergency relief valve, a pressure gauge, and then the outlet to the engine that produces the hydrogen through the outlet. We'll have a little um, place right here for water inlet. Then we'll also have where you saw the cork, that's where the drain is going to be. So when you need to maintain it, you just unscrew it, take the electrode out. But when you do that, before you start, where that cork is, it'll be just like an air compressor where you let the uh, fluid out, the moisture that builds up from the compressing air. Thank you for the helicopter going ahead. And Q airplane. It's rolling. We're now hooking the generator up to this battery. And there are no Alka-Seltzer in that tube. It's hydrogen being produced. Just from a battery without electronics. You can see the bubbles. You can actually see the bubbles. It's full. Okay, um, it's about been a minute, about a minute, minute and a half since we uh, actually got it to light. <laughs> and yeah, it, it uh, scared the shit out of us because we wasn't really expecting it. Well, we tried some tests with this, you know, can we capture the hydrogen? So we put this down over it and then he lit a lighter, and, like idiots maybe, but boom, nothing. 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 So we took it off and and, and just, just standing just around, dick it around, waved it across here, and does it BAM! Doesn't even work! <laughs> I was thinking, have we spent all this money and time and it, it just makes bubbles like an Alka Seltzer? No. <laughs> it makes explosive hydrogen, my good man. It's pretty loud, too. Yeah, it was like a firecracker. No, no flame. Uh, very dangerous. Don't try this at home. We're professionals. <laughs> <laughs> well. We are now going to prove that we're actually producing hydrogen, or at least something flammable, by lighting it. Apparently it blew up. Hydrogen generator hooked up to a battery with no special electronics. We're going to show you that it's producing hydrogen. I have safety glasses on. I am a professional. Hee <laughs> hee.